custom bighorn bow for Mike Eastman, 15th anniversary. Well, folks, glad you can join me here. Mike Eastman's Blaze Trails Forgotten. Uh, I was sitting in my office the other day, and I just glanced over at this bow. I got it hanging there right next to a Pope and Young antelope I took with this recurve. I used to bow hunt quite a bit. In fact, in the day, I was an archery rep, went around to different towns out west here selling archery equipment to, to sporting goods stores. I always like hunting with a bow, particularly a recurve. Now, this story is a little short story about uh, taking a uh, antelope buck with my recurve. Uh, it all starts out two years before I, I took the buck. Uh, I lived right where there was hundreds, if not thousands, of antelope there in Wyoming, uh, out of Thermopolis. And I spent a lot of time with antelope when I was, you know, getting the magazine up and going and did a lot of filming of them. And there was this one particular buck I called Shorty. He wasn't real tall, real heavy, but he was the mature buck of that certain area. And if you know antelope, those bucks will have an area that they patrol, and any other buck gets in that area, they'll run them off. Heck, I used to say if uh, antelope had antlers as big as elk, they'd all be dead out there from fighting each other. They're so aggressive. But anyway, I kept watching this buck, and every year these antelope bucks come back to their same little territory in the summer, and they spend the fall there, and they rut there, and then they gather up in big herds when winter comes. So. That's just kind of how it works. But I kept watching this buck. For the last two years before I hunted him, I was, I was kind of experimenting with uh, antelope decoys. And I got pretty good at it. I'll show you some footage here of me uh, using them. You can see me here getting right up on them. It got to be the end of the archery season, and I was driving along, and I looked up, and out there on the knob, there's old Shorty standing there, and he's just up like this. And, and just to let you know, the last two years, he never changed any difference in his horns. They were all the same size. He never got any, any taller than, like, almost 14 inches. He just was this, you know, nice Pope and Young buck, but not a Boone and Crockett. Oh, he's very aggressive, so he was on a knob, and he gave me an opportunity, and so... I pulled off the road, snuck around, snuck up on the knob next to it, about 100 yards away, put up that uh, decoy, and uh, did a little uh, antelope call that old Ed Prody designed. And he looked up, and here he come. And I'm, I'm uh, behind that uh, decoy, and I see him coming. And I've done enough of these that I know what happens when they come up to them, they come and they stop and they look at it, and then, and then you have to come out and pull back, and you got about five to 10 seconds because in their brain, they sit there and go, what, what is this behind this antelope? They're trying to compute that before they go, oh, this ain't right, and they run off. And I just nailed him right in the heart. He ran out there 40 yards, poof, down he went dead. And uh, he goes Pope and Young, Pretty good buck. But you can see here all this footage I've had uh, of, of doing that with these bucks, uh, getting up close to them. And this one footage here, I was out on the same knob the year before, and I was trying to get this buck you see here that uh, was a little bigger. He was over 14 inches, and uh, I got him right in. You can see in the footage, and I come around to shoot, and he looked at me, turned, and whirled, and I wasn't able to get a shot at him, but uh, me and my uh, editor, Rod Hart, we used to hunt a lot with bows for these bucks. He, he took a 15 and a half incher spot and stock. Uh, I took this buck with uh, using a decoy. So, you know, this is just a little story about a little aggressive buck that I watched for two, three years in his little range, and he got to a point where I was able to, to put up my decoy and have him call him in and be able to harvest him. And 
using uh, my bow. And yes, I am left-handed. So I hope you enjoyed this and the old footage of this. And we'll see you next time in another Mike Eastman's Blaze Trails Forgotten. Mm -hmm.